Hi guys, this is Otto from Motorizer IT. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set the limits of the motor. Um, and we're actually going to link the remote itself as well. Now the procedure is almost the same as with a rotor shutter, but it's slightly different. So we're going to go through it um, from the beginning right until the end. And the start is by pressing, uh, first selecting a channel. If you have a remote with multiple channels, if you have a single channel remote, you don't need to select any channels. I'm going to start by selecting the second channel. I'm going to press up and down until the motor responds. So it has moved up and down now. And the first step then is actually to check, the, um, to check the direction of the motor. So I'm going to press up and it's actually moving down. So I can change that by pressing the My button until the motor responds. So press and hold it. The motor has responded. I'm going to check now to see if it's actually going up when I press up. And that's the case. So we can continue to the next phase, which is setting the upper limit. So I press the up button until I've reached the desired position. I'm there now. So if you want to fine tune, you can just press slightly. And you can really fine tune the right position. So that's done. What I need to do now is press my and down at the same time. So we'll now continue rolling down until it's in its lowest position. You can stop it by pressing the My button, which I've done now, and you can still fine tune it by pressing the up and down buttons. I'm fine with this position, so what I need to do now is press My and Up at the same time, and it will start moving up. So My and Up at the same time. And it started moving up, so now I can press the My button until the motor responds. So it's gone up and down. And now I'm going to turn the remote over and press the program button to finish the whole sequence. And that's it. The remote has been programmed, the limits have been set, and the remote has been linked. So we're now all done. We've, uh, we've made a complete uh, new electric blind, and we've actually programmed the motor. So we're all done. If you have any questions about this procedure, about electric, uh, making your um, roller blind electric, providing with a motor, then let me know. The email address is info at motorized.it. Thank you and see you next time.